Jury selection continues in the trial of the former ice cream man charged with a double murder. Michael Keatley has waited almost 10 years for his trial to begin, but today his attorneys wanted a do over. Eight on your side's Justin Shecker was the only local TV reporter in court as the defense requested a motion for a mistrial. Justin, kind of fill us in here. What happened? Well, Jen, a good evening. A potential juror made some comments that Michael Keel and his defense team thought would prevent him from having a fair trial. I walked in this morning as the judge tossed that man out of the courtroom. Now, Michael Keatley is charged with two counts of first degree murder and four counts of attempted murder, as laid out in this indictment dated December 16th, 2010. 49 year old Michael Keatley stands trial as a double murder defendant. A decade after Eight on Your Side spoke with him while he recovered from being shot in his ice cream truck. Hey, these are the kind of people that will walk into a convenience store and shoot the clerk. That's the kind of people they are. They don't care. You know, they might walk over and shoot somebody's mom for their purse. No regard for no regard for life. Michael Keatley. Deputies arrested Keatley in December 2010 for the shooting deaths of brothers Sergio and Juan Gutron. Prosecutors say he also wounded four other men during an early morning shooting spree on Thanksgiving in Ruskin. And investigators think he was seeking revenge from a person known as Creeper. We believe he went to the wrong residence and he had bad intelligence where this guy was. During the second day of jury selection, the judge kicked out a potential juror. Keatley's defense team argued his outburst infected the panel of nearly 60 people. The judge denied the motion to start over. Eight on your side looked into the reasons why this former ice cream man has waited longer than any other defendant in Hillsborough County for his trial to begin. Keeley's original defense attorney passed away. The state standard for how courts admit expert testimony has waffled back and forth. Also, Florida's death penalty laws changed before the state ended its pursuit of putting Keatley on death row last year. And the state clearly doesn't want any more delays in this case. The prosecutor is saying today he has 45 witnesses lined up and ready to go. Jen? Well, Justin, where does this trial stand tonight? Do you know? Well, Jen, the jury has not yet been seated after the delay earlier today. That process will continue at 9 o'clock in the morning, and the judge said he's hopeful that opening statements will begin after lunch. Jen? Justin Shecker, live for us in Tampa tonight. Thank you.